This afternoon, we're making Grandma's Buttermilk Strawberry Sheet Cake with strawberry cream frosting. It's gonna be wonderful. So we've got one cup of softened butter in here. We're gonna beat this, and I'm gonna add in two cups of sugar while this is going. I'm just gonna gradually add in the sugar. While that's going, I'm gonna get the pan ready. We're gonna grease it, put down some parchment paper, and spray that. vanilla lemon juice. We need two thirds of a cup of chopped strawberries for the cake and two thirds of a cup for the frosting. So I think I have enough here for both. If not, I've got some more strawberries. We'll slice some more up if we need to. For supper tonight, we're having the ranch hand chicken salad. So that'll be really quick and easy. And I have some buns for the kids in case if they don't want a salad, they can have a sandwich. Okay, that's about two thirds there. Yeah, we got plenty here. Oh, it's not Daddy, it's Ty. He was driving Daddy's truck. <laughs> uh oh, he don't want a mustache right now. He don't want a mustache? No, do you want a mustache? Alright, we've got the butter and sugar mixed together. We're going to add these eggs one at a time. It's just two eggs. Next, we need one teaspoon of vanilla and two teaspoons of lemon juice. While that's going in this bowl, we're going to mix two and a half cups of cake flour with a quarter teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and two tablespoons of strawberry gelatin mix. Once we get this mixed, we're going to add it in to the butter mixture alternately with one cup of buttermilk. The last thing we put in here is the two thirds of a cup of chopped strawberries. We're just gonna stir these in. Now we spread it into the pan. This makes a really pretty pink batter. I don't know if the camera is picking up the pinkness so good, but it's really, really pretty. <laughs> Smells good. It smells like spring. All right, it's going in the oven for 30 to 40 minutes. I'll start checking it around 20 to see where we're at. And when it gets done, it has to cool for an hour before we frost it. So I've got my block of cream cheese sitting out for the frosting. We'll just wait and make that when the cake gets done. While it's cooking and cooling, I'll work on my to-do list. We have windows, which I'm kind of excited about because I got a new little window cleaning tool. But first, I must take care of this before we can start any of that. By the way, I'm loving this dish drainer that I showed y'all the other day that I got from Ollie's. It's the perfect, like the other one that I had, the Better Homes and Gardens one, wouldn't fit this way. It was like longer, so it wouldn't fit. If I turned it this way, it had to be turned the other way, you know? This one fits this way, and I love it because then I have much more room over here. I have my bread box sitting right here. It's not going to stay here, though. Titus is going to build me one of those things to put right here. You know, the it's going to have a top part where I can put my bread box, but then it's going to have a little pull-out drawer thing for the, not really a drawer, it's going to be shelves, but the door is going to be that you pull it down. I'll try to pop up a picture of kind of what I have in mind. 
but that's going to be for potatoes and onions or either for fruit and stuff and then the bread box will sit on the top of that that'll give me more room in this cabinet because it's the you know really narrow but deep kind and who put these frosted flakes here these don't go here what you doing tony you know that's not where you belong <laughs> ready to make the frosting for the cake we need cream cheese sugar you sure can strawberries heavy cream and lemon juice and it says you can put some pink food coloring but I don't have any we're just gonna skip that it says it's optional so we're gonna choose the option of no because we don't have any the first thing we put in here is the cream cheese okay which number do I have to do do this number this number, do this um, number. Probably number two to start with. Is this number two? Mm -hmm. Number two, here mm -hmm. it comes. <laughs> While this is mixing, I'm gonna put in two thirds of a cup is of sugar with two? it. Oh. We're putting in two tablespoons of lemon juice and one and a half cups of heavy cream. We've got a nice thick frosting now. We're gonna put in the strawberries and we're just gonna put it on stir to gently stir these in. ready to cook supper so for this chicken I'm just gonna cook it with some oil in the skillet here and I'm gonna season it with this rodeo ranch seasoning it says it's a tangy chicken rub tastes great on chicken pork fish grilled vegetables and garlic bread oh you can make your own ranch dressing with it so we're just gonna cook the chicken and I'm gonna slice up a lot of different salad toppings. We've got avocado, tomatoes, carrots. Oh, and I put potatoes in the oven, so we're having the salad with baked potatoes. Okay, we got the first batch going. So y'all remember the cream cheese sheet cake that we made a week or two ago, two weeks ago, I think. It was wonderful. The texture of that was like a pound cake almost. Not quite, but almost, but it was great. This one has almost that same texture, but it's a little more fluffy. Like it's, it's pound cakey and fluffy at the same time. It's wonderful, really good. And the frosting, it's not overly sweet. So if you want it a little sweeter, I would just taste it, maybe add a little more sugar, you know, if you want to. 
because it's not really sweet, but with the cake, because the cake is sweet, it goes really good with it. But yeah, it's great. It's definitely a different kind of strawberry cake because the texture, like I said, it's almost, like I said, it's like a pound cake, but fluffier. <laughs> it's really good.